Hello and welcome back to Bampton Insight. Now in our last video we looked at the fundamentals of doubles defence and this week we're going to get advanced by looking at our court positioning, racket positioning and foot positioning. Now if you play a lift that puts your opponent under a lot of pressure from either a flat lift or a really accurate lift like this then you would expect them to play a less steep or less powerful shot. You would therefore step up your base position on court. In contrast, if you're under pressure from the attack, then you need to be further back in your defensive position. This is to give you a better chance of retrieving the shuttles. So around here, but don't go too far back as otherwise you won't be able to get the drops and stop offs. So when practicing this, stop you going too far back and moving too far back, you can put something like a bench behind you. Oh. <sighs> So now we're going to move on to the racket positioning. In our defence fundamentals video, we explained that your racket should be between here and here. However, similar to the court positioning, if your opponents are under a lot of pressure in their attack, then you can bring your racket up to be in a more aggressive position like this. And this is because they're less likely to play a steep or powerful shot. And having your racket like this means that you can counter attack and immediately put more pressure onto your opponents. Rally! Oh, goodness. Oh, how quick was that? Oh. In contrast, if you've hit a really short lift, then you need to have your racket lower to the ground and your strings angled up like this so that you're ready for that steep shot. And you also need to be in your further back court position. So it would look like this. And remember, for both this shot and the higher one, you need to use the tips we gave in our fundamental defence video, such as having a short swing. We're going to show specific shots you can play on more defence videos coming in the future, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you might have noticed that our feet were generally side by side in these clips. However, there were scenarios where one foot was slightly in front of the other. When the shuttle comes to this difficult area here, it's better to step back with your racket leg to allow you space for the racket to come forwards and the elbow. However, there may also be times where you really want to step into the shuttle with your racket leg to add power to the shot and initiate this movement forwards from defence into attack. Now what should you do if you're defending on the cross court? Well, your racket leg should also be further back when you're covering the middle from one side. So for right-handers, like this, and for left-handers, like this. And on the other side, your racket leg should be further forwards. This is so that you're facing the attacker and can take the shuttle as early as possible if it comes to the middle or cross-court. And the reason we stand further over on the cross is exactly that, to take the shuttle earlier, as it takes a longer period of time for the shuttle to go cross, so we have more time to react. And usually, if the opponents play a cross-court shot off a good length lift, then it will expose the straight shot down the line. Finally, you want to readjust your position as a pair as soon as you hit the lift. So, for example, if you hit a cross-court lift, then you want to quickly move over together as a pair, like this. Adjusting your positioning can massively help your defence, even if it's just tiny micro adjustments. And this is why the better players make defence look easy, because they're usually already in the right position and they stay nice and relaxed. While some of this information might be obvious, we can all definitely improve at recognising scenarios to make a split second decision whether we move forwards, edge backwards or just hold our position in defence. Now we hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please press that like button and watch this video now which will give you some further insight into doubles defence. Or if not, check out our website www.bamtoninside.com <laughs> Check out our website, bampton-insight.com, for more resources to help you improve your game. As we said at the start, there's so much to cover on doubles defence, such as different shots or strategies and tactics. So make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss them when the time comes. And we'll see you on another video.